Whether they're armed with a gun, knife, or a cocky one-liner, these characters are well-versed in the art of kicking ass and taking names. I shoot the dead. Dead bodies, that is. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 Movie Assassins. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at more big screen murderers that are hired to kill targets, especially important ones, usually for criminal or political organizations. If you don't see an assassin you think should be on this list, be sure to check out our first video of the Top 10 Movie Assassins. Oh, and a spoiler alert is probably in order. Number 10. Nikita. Nikita. Comment vous appelez? Nikita? When the average criminal is sentenced to life in prison, they don't usually get to fake their own death in order to become an assassin for a secret shadow organization. Then again, most people aren't Nikita. As a sleeper agent operating in Paris, Nikita uses her impressive repertoire of skills to complete whatever mission is assigned to her. Whether she's armed with a loaded gun, a tight black dress, or both, Nikita is one cool customer. Taught to use her sexuality as a weapon, this movie assassin is more than capable of flashing you a smile one second and a deadly glance the next. Now that is a kick-ass killer we can root for. <laughs> Number 9. Ray in Bruges Who did you murder for money, Raymond? You, father. Just because a person is a killer doesn't mean they have to like it. After Ray accidentally kills a young boy during his first hit, he and his partner Ken are forced to lay low in the quaint historical town of Bruges. As the film progresses, it becomes clear that Ray is not a born killer, but that doesn't stop him from getting mixed up in a number of violent altercations, often with comedic results. That's for John Lennon. While he may not have a thirst for blood, Ray definitely possesses a number of classic hitman qualities. His quick wit and affinity to punch first and ask questions later serve him well throughout the film. Now, who's the fing bum boy? You, you fing bum boy. Number 8. Francisco Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun. The Bond franchise has been littered with top notch assassins, most notably Red Grant. However, if you're looking to hire an assassin who's cool under pressure and in possession of one of the most badass weapons in the history of film, look no further than Francisco Scaramanga, who serves as the antagonist in this classic Bond thriller. You see, Mr. Bond, I always thought I liked animals. And I discovered that I like killing people even more. A world renowned killer. The character doesn't bat an eye when it comes to pulling the trigger. Armed with his trusty golden handgun, Scaramanga proves a worthy opponent to 007. While Bond eventually outsmarts him, Scaramanga remains one of the toughest opponents that the British secret agent ever went up against. Number 7. Joe Looper They'll find our older self, zap him back to us. And we'll kill him like any other job. Who would have guessed that criminals would find ways to exploit time travel for nefarious means once it's invented? Well, that's what happens in this sci-fi film. Joe works as a looper, a person tasked with eliminating marks sent from the future. He is smart and able to handle a gun with confidence, exactly the kinds of qualities that a good assassin should possess. When one of his marks escapes, he springs into action, using all of his skills to take him down. Ultimately, the job turns out to be a little more complicated than a simple point and shoot, but Joe never lets that phase him. I'm gonna fix this! I'm gonna find him! I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him! Number 6. Mr. Goodcat, Lucky Number Slevin. My name is Goodcat. You can call me Mr. Goodcat. Not all assassins have to be young studs eliminating targets while parkouring across buildings at superhuman speeds. Some are just grizzled and experienced men who know how to stay one step ahead of the game. Enter Mr. Goodcat. This guy is so good at his job that most people don't even know what he looks like. However, he is renowned within the murder for hire community for his ability to accept any contract, regardless of age. I'm gonna kill somebody. Goodcat is a cold hearted manipulator with a razor sharp mind and an even sharper trigger finger. A word to the wise if he strikes up a conversation with you about a Kansas City shuffle, run. This is a Kansas City shuffle. They look right. And you go left. Number five, Fox, Wanted. 
kill one, and maybe save a thousand. Angelina Jolie has made a career out of playing badass characters, and her portrayal of Fox, an elite assassin tasked with training a new recruit, might just be her best. A fantastic mix of brains, brawn, and beauty, Fox is a no-nonsense killer, highly skilled and proud of it. Using her superhuman talents, Fox trains the inexperienced Wesley how to be an assassin like her, often with mixed results. What did you say? I said, I, said I don't know who I am. However, Fox proves herself not only to be an excellent killer, but also an excellent teacher. In the end, any assassin capable of bending a bullet around a brick wall deserves a spot on this list. Number 4. Hannah Heller, Hannah I just missed your heart. The youngest killer to make this list may just be the deadliest. After being trained for years by her ex-assassin father, a young girl must begin a treacherous journey while being pursued by a bevy of unsavory characters. You didn't prepare me for this. What makes Hannah great is her ability to kill at a moment's notice. Her reaction time is impeccable, and it always seems as if she knows something her enemies do not. On the flip side, her secluded upbringing has made her very naive to the outside world. However, her naivety only serves to make her more skeptical of her surroundings, leading to a character that is constantly on the lookout for potential threats. Think on your feet, even when I'm sleeping. Number three, John and Jane Smith, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Any last words? The new curtains are hideous. Uh, nothing says love like two world-class assassins unknowingly living under the same roof as husband and wife. Well, that was the plot of this mid-2000s action flick. Working for different agencies, the two characters slowly begin to pick up on the fact that the person they are married to might just be in a similar line of work. You still alive, baby? What makes John and Jane great assassins is their ability to adapt to any situation. Whether they are involved in a high-speed freeway chase armed only with the contents of their minivan, or slowly dispatching enemies inside a shopping mall, these two killers are always one step ahead of the competition. Number 2. Winter Soldier Captain America, The Winter Soldier You're my mission. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, there are very few characters outside of Black Widow that could be characterized as assassins. However, from the first moment he appears on screen, it's clear that The Winter Soldier is first and foremost an assassin. After being brainwashed by Hydra, Bucky Barnes has transformed into an ageless killer known as The Winter Soldier. With his metal arm, superhero speed, and impressive fighting skills, this character wreaks havoc on his enemies without being hindered by remorse. Who could forget his epic highway fight with Captain America? While he may have moments of doubt, the Winter Soldier's penchant for being a killer is always simmering under the surface. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I don't murder children. I do, if I have to. Shot who? Paul. He turned the gun on the two bodyguards. Both gone at a blink of an eye. Number one, John Wick, the John Wick franchise. Evening, John. Evening, Jimmy. Noise complaint. Noise complaint. After a gangster's sadistic son kills his dog and steals his car, ex-hitman John Wick comes out of retirement with one thing on his mind. Revenge. It quickly becomes apparent that this is a man who is not to be trifled with. Well versed in the art of killing, Wick is a juggernaut of death, dispatching henchmen with ease through a variety of different fighting and shooting styles. There is a reason why he's referred to as the Boogeyman, or rather, was the one you sent to kill the f***ing boogeyman. Wherever Wick goes, death follows. Between his repertoire of impressive murder moves and his ability to remain calm under pressure, which follows him in Chapter 2, it's not surprising that John Wick takes the top spot. You want a war? Or do you want to just give me a gun? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.